check it out today. We have the new HCR Sportline A arms. I like it a lot. Uh, these probably came out a few months ago, but we got them in our hands. We're gonna install them on my buddy Martin's X3, and they look beast. So let me show you guys some B-roll shots real quick of what they look like up close and personal. So these are 1 8 inch steel. They are MIG welded versus the um, Dual Sports are TIG welded. They are a little bit more affordable, but they are just as beefy as the other Dual Sport kits. Um, and they are way better than OEM. So I'm gonna show you guys real quick some of the differences and some of the failure points that we've seen on the OEM, which this will not have. Um, unless you freaking roll the thing, which then you have other problems. So we'll grab the lower A-arm here and we'll show you guys real quickly probably the weakest point on here. So on the uh, upper A-arm, the um, shock mount, we don't see a lot of failures in this point in particular, but I wanna show you guys the differences between this and the new Sport Elites. And as you can see, um, pretty thin gauge when it comes to the steel, the stamped steel and the uh, HCRs. Again, eighth inch plate steel, super thick. That shock's not gonna go anywhere. But the main thing that I've seen as far as failure points when it comes to the upper arm has to be the cup where the ball joint goes through. And uh, this cup, I've had it wallow out from uh, abuse. We had that issue on the main machine. We actually had to replace the upper arm uh, because of that. Um, and on the uh, HCRs, they have this really high quality cup that holds your ball joint in place. So that's probably the best upgrade as far as the upper arm. Uh, the rest of it, again, really strong. You can see the mount for the uh, sway bar link is uh, very reinforced and gusseted. Uh, very tough, as you can tell. So we'll show you guys the lower arm because the lower arm is the bad guy. That's the guy that everybody hates because it bends, it fails, and it causes a lot of other components to fail. So, so while you're riding, if this arm fails, and it fails at this point, the lower section of the arm. This tube is really weak. Um, I know they made some upgrades for the 22, but it's still a similar design. So on the lower arm, the rear section of the lower arm is where it fails the most. That bend right there, that is not a failure currently. This is the pre-bend that the OEM gives you uh, as a fuse. But the problem is it fails too easily. So 2018 through 21 are pretty much the same thing, or 2017 through 21 are the same thing. And these fail pretty consistently. Uh, when this fails, it takes out a lot more stuff. Usually the knuckle will break, the ball joint will rip out of the arm. Um, sometimes, and it's not as common, but sometimes, and it is costly, you can lose a shock, it will bend the shaft, and just multiple items are gonna bend and, and damage for you. So we wanna replace these arms with some high quality arms, and that's where the HCRs come in. Again, eighth inch plate steel, uh, very tough. Here you can see all the gussing they give you in this section here where this bend is at uh, to reduce any you know, chance of failure here. Uh, heavy duty, they are a little bit heavier. You are gonna get some heft to them, but expect them to last a long time. So with this arm setup, you're gonna wanna reinforce the frame. I recommend the TMW uh, gusset kit and the shock tower brace. Uh, both those items and the arms, we've done videos on them in the past. So I'm gonna link those down below. We're gonna go ahead and just throw these on. I just wanna show you guys in detail because they are an awesome upgrade for the money. So Martin already has the gusset kit and shock tower brace on his vehicle. Uh, that's already installed. So all we gotta do is take the bolts out and put these new A-arms. Uh, to complement the rear training arm from HCR, we got some LMUTV radius rods. So for the colors, we got stealth gray on the powder coat for this uh, gray for the upper arm and the radius rods. And then we have the blurple from Can-Am. I think we actually got this from S3. They got us the powder. So uh, the name and the actual color code, we don't have, but if you want this exact color code, uh, contact S3 Power Sports, they have that. So we're gonna go ahead and start putting the arms on and uh, we'll show you guys what it looks like on the car. Guys, quick public service announcement. If you're interested in some of these ARs from HER, as well as some of the parts of Malumi TV, you need to use the discount codes in the description down below. They are not gonna last. I plan to sell some of these products on my website and the discount codes will be going away. So if you want some of these parts, you need to use them ASAP. And if you're one of those guys who thinks that these arms won't fail on you, well, check it out. There's this customer. It happens to everybody pretty much if you ride hard and I highly suggest you replace them before it happens to you. So in this video, we're showing you the Sportline on the Can-Am, but there's also arms for the Turbo S and the Pro XP. So if you have one of those models, you might as well check them out. Furthermore, we just came out with some new shirts with the Turbo S on the back, as well as another shirt that has Stay Dirty with the Dunes. And yes, we have 3XL. We also got some beanies in, and we got some flags back in stock. So if you want to support the channel, go ahead and hit up glifeutv.com. And now, back to the show. Dude, that's the hard part because I can't mess around. I gotta try to be a professional. Mm -hmm. This is the part where I mess around. And Martin is here and Danny is here. Are you recording me? Recording you? I'm recording you. Recording me. Okay. Bro. So <laughs>
<laughs> these guys have become friends of mine. They are awesome. We got Martin's car. Uh, if you guys remember or have seen my videos in the past, Martin, we were at Johnson Valley with him. Danny came out in one of my videos also in Johnson Valley. Oh, I think it was a different date though, because you weren't there. Same day. Same day. Same day. Went you were jumping. Yeah, oh, how come you guys weren't hanging went, together? That's What's you going on? Spinal, bro. How come you guys weren't hanging together? I was together? up at the house. He was down in the. Yeah, we okay, don't. Yeah, okay. we don't camp together. He smells. So we'll show you guys what we have going on so far. Everything's torn apart. Again, links in the description for videos on the past of how to do this from start to finish. Uh, we have a video front suspension and rear suspension on CJ's X3. Again, links in the description. So we'll do a time lapse, throw this on, and uh, yeah, we'll see how it looks all finished. Hopefully, it looks good. Because we ain't taking it off. I ain't taking it off. Too much work. <laughs> All right, let's do this. Thing is looking mean as hell. I like yeah. the color combo. So you put some plastics on. What do you think so far, uh, Martin? Yeah, loving it. Danny? Loving it, bro. You're hating on it because I'm hating on it because I don't have it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm next. I need it. It is good. All right, moving on. Bro, that sucks, bro. I got chili in my eyes, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I'll give you a chili in your eyes. <laughs> oh, you're fine again? What's up? G Live ETV. We got Abraham behind the camera. I've been putting the boys to work, so I don't have to do anything. They're struggling to put the wheels on. Tis his life. And then he's go up or what? Yeah, it's gotta go up. Nah, you're just crooked, dude. Got Come on. Big tires, bro. Get your ass in there, bro. Check off. Check off. What do they call it? Stealth gray? Armor gray. Armor gray? Armor gray. Oh, That's you keep changing called. it, dude. Come yeah, on, make it armor gray. And then, uh, Blurple is what we call it. Blurple, mm -hmm. yeah. Yamaha yeah. blue or can -Am blue, whatever you want to call it. Looks good though. It's, uh, I know the it's, it's, it's can -Am blue because they got it from um, S3, which uh, you know is can -Am supported. So looks damn good. We got all the cross check on it, all the cross thread checker. Uh, we use Revlock. I switched over to Revlock because it's really easy to apply. And damn, it looks good. That amber makes everything pop better. I don't know why. It just has that extra color to it. Yeah. Damn, now you gotta tell the old lady, hey, we need a cage in this color. Whoops, sorry. One thing at a time there, bro. One thing at a time. <laughs> hey, Mean Machine's sitting next, pretty. Next. We need a cage, dude. Chop that freaking thing down. Let's go look at the Mean Machine real quick. So Mean Machine's got a little issue, unrelated to the HDR uh, video that we got going on, but the front diff has developed a leak. And I think, I'm not too sure, but I think it's the O-ring on the side cover. Because it's on the bottom. It's not coming from the side seals and it's not coming from the uh, pinion seal towards the back. So uh, we're going to have to pull the diff out, reseal it, and throw it back in if it's not cracked once we pull it out. So we'll figure it out. I just saw that. I was about to ask the... I was thinking the same thing, dude. Where did that bolt come from? This is no good. That looks like the shock, <laughs> shock bolt. Did we put the wrong shock bolt? Holy crap, did we pull a shock bolt? There's nothing here. What? I don't know, where's it go? We freaking got an extra bolt, don't know where it goes. Watch your fuck. Watch your fuck. Okay, you got first. One more, one more. Fun today. Let me go, let me go. Go ahead, go ahead. It's gonna drop. These things don't weigh anything compared to They're the lightweight, so. ACRs. Uh, for the most part, people don't have a lot of issues with the train arms unless you're riding really hard or if you have a stock radius rods, they bend and they take out the train arm. But we have seen cracks in the past in this area here, uh, right where this weld's at, and then uh, buckling in this in the inside area where this bend is at. So I've seen that on my car, uh, in customers' cars. So the fix obviously would be some aftermarket arms and let's show you guys the beefiness that is the new train arms. Mario's gonna hold it up in the air. And this is freaking ridiculous. So it's very box and squared, but like I said, in the, for the other arms, one inch, uh, excuse me, one eighth of an inch plating, and it's all you know beautifully welded. And yeah, just overall beef. Yeah, these things probably they, they weigh. You can feel that these are girthy compared to these. Oh, girthy. girthy? You like that? That's the word you're gonna use. 
so we're adjusting these radius rods. So Martin got uh, 72 inch radius rods, but these are their straight aluminum, still built aluminum, but they're straight. And what's nice about these is the hands are three quarters versus five eighths. Big dogs, dude. Good stuff. So you lose some clearance, but you gain some strength. Less chance of them bending as well, I would say. Main reason why I decided to go with these over the high clearance, these are round, solid round bar. The high clearance have that flat square edge. And since I do a, most of my riding in the desert, trails, Johnson Valley, bar stuff, stuff like that, I don't want a rock to catch that you flat like face and 50 pull. miles on that thing, what are you talking about? It's got 225, <laughs> 225, please. I didn't want a rock to catch it and yank it. I'd rather this just bounce over, roll over the rock. So that's why I went uh, solid rod and I wanted to be different because everything Frank does is those high clearance. Yeah, I like the high clearance, but I think if I get another machine, I might go with these based on the, I think the hives. I bet, I bet you will, because this is the way to go, bro. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> so uh, it's really easy to align these. Yeah, you could do them on the car, but the baseline is always going to be the stock one. So just go off the stock ones. Um, they're marked, which I didn't know. They say uh, uh, middle, bottom, so-and-so. Yeah. And on these, all you got to do is twist the rod because there's a right hand and a left hand heim, and it'll open and close as far as the uh, length. It'll get you know, wider and shorter as you turn. Oh, big dogs oh, here. Oh, big dog. Oh, uh, yeah, what do you got? Thank you, CJ. Neapolitan. Ice cream sandwiches? Neapolitan, is it? Yep. Or all vanilla? Oh, Neapolitan got damn we already scarfed down the strawberry. It is what it is. Billy it's again. hot, that's why. What did I get? What did I get? No, Hagen Dazs. Damn, I forgot we had these. We got some of these freaking chingasos. What is this? UFO? How do you call it that? I didn't say that. UFOs. They're bootlegged versions. Oh, bootlegged versions of the UFOs. Yeah, yeah. I got customer's car. Shout out to Rudy. And look at this, check it out. See how we got, see what we got here. No, no, everything's good, bro. Take the camera that way. Whoa, <laughs> <laughs> Man, we got both of these men, full grown men here sweating their balls off, look at it. I can't do all the work all the time. They've been, they've been killing it, they've been knocking it out. And CJ has been supportive, look at it. <laughs> got a drop of sweat. <laughs> CJ, can you get another beer, please? <laughs> <laughs> there you go. <laughs> front looks so sick but sometimes uh, manufacturers don't always work great together so check it out we have a little issue here with the sway bar link this is shock therapy and again hgr arms sometimes um you know we uh issues arise so the arm the way it's designed is a little high and it looks like the sway bar link is in a contact so depending on the sway bar links you have you may or may not have an issue my recommendation is after your arms are installed, go ahead and cycle the suspension with your sway bar links and make sure they don't touch. Because if they do, you know, obviously you're gonna have an issue. It's gonna start chipping off at the paint, uh, at the metal, and we don't want that. So we're checking out these uh, LMU TV ones. The misalignment spacer that goes towards the arm is actually a bit longer. Um, I would say that's probably like two thirds of the size of this one. And um, with that, it may help. So just understand that be aware of that it is can be an issue always cycle the suspension after you made modifications to it and see if the parts that you install are all compatible all right so we're going to end it here cj and abraham are going to be the grill masters apparently we're going to hook up some meat uh cook it on the grill and we're done thanks to hgr for helping us out with the arms thanks for martin for uh using his machine on the video and yeah see you guys in the next one stay dirty and stay cool because it's freaking hot it's, i thought we we're in winter right now that's California for you. So cow, bro. The weather's all jacked up, dude. <laughs>